Lee's Logbook. Hello and welcome to the next chapter of Lee's Logbook. I am Lee and this is our Pokemon Ultra Moon Wonderlock. On the last episode, we were here on Mount Lanakila and we got into this icy cave portion of said mountain. We're going to jump in, try to get all the way up top today. So, first, let's get a quick team recap for you. In the front of the squad at the moment, we have our Blaziken, Blaze Kick, Brave Bird, Sky Uppercut, and Baton Pass. Baton Pass, probably going to change that to Protect pretty soon. We'll see. Uh, then we have our Rufflet, Sky Drop, Tailwind, Slash, Crush, Claw. Our Vigavolt, Acrobatics, Thunderbolt, Bug Buzz, and Dig. Our Primarina. Sing, Sparkling Aria, Hyper Voice, Moon Blast, Intercambio, Agility, Meteor Mash, Iron Defense, Hammer Arm, and Ludicolo, Nature Power, Fake Out, Solar Beam, and Skull. So, uh, I believe that I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna jump in. I'm just gonna jump, jump right in and do some stuff. We are gonna do some stuff, fight some people, and see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully, nothing bad. Have at you! Oh, all right. Going a little old school with the threat there. Ace Trainer Seth, but all right, I get you. Have at, have at me, you shall. You send out a sight there. Now, I am super effective against it, but it is also super effective against me. Do I think that a Blaze Kick could kill? Do I think that a Brave Bird could kill? Brave Bird, maybe. Blaze Kick also, maybe? Because it's Stab. I'm gonna go for the Blaze Kick. Well, it didn't go for a flying type move. So that's good. I'm gonna go for Blaze Kick again then. Okay. So it has Air Slash, but that's a special attack, and Scyther is not a special attacker. I hit my first Blaze Kick after trying two times, and it does, in fact, one shot. Okay. Well, that's good. Now my speed is plus three, which is insane. Uh, Malamar. Dark Psychic. What do I have against a Dark Psychic? Bug, bug, bug? Right? I'm gonna swap in my Vicavolt. Because Vicavolt needs training anyway. I'm going to attempt to Bug Buzz. It's gonna use Psycho Cut. That's gonna be re not resistant, but didn't do too much damage. That is super effective, and it one shots! Alright, we're good. We're good. Please, let me have a moment with my Pokemon, now that they're back in their Pokeballs. Sure, man. Take all the time that you need. I don't know. Is there something important that I needed from you? No. I don't know. Um. Alright, so we sustained some injury. Oh, we're running into some wild Pokemon. What is it? A Glalie. Mm. All right, Ooh, my foot is getting tangled and wiring. There we go. <laughs> uh, can we just run? Okay. Good. 
Good, good. Um, I actually think that before I fight this person, because I am going to fight this person, I do really need experience pretty badly. Um, I have some max potions that I can use, so. I'm gonna heal Blaze again up to full. Uh, before any of that. And we're gonna go talk to this Ace Trainer. Why, hello there! It's not just Pokemon. We trainers need to evolve, too. Oh, okay. What are we evolving into? Hmm? Let me know. Let me know, Kaylee. What are we evolving into? Hmm. Grass Fairy. Try to hit it with a Blaze Kick. Or a Brave Bird. I'm gonna try Blaze Kick again. I hit this time! Can't work you. Alright. Got that speed boost! So fast. Clefable. Now this one's just a fairy. I have steel. I don't have poison. I think I might actually stay in. Because I'm fire, so fairy... Oh, wait, I'm fighting, so it's neutral. Okay. Alright, well, fairy is neutral to me. So I'm going to attempt to blaze kick, see what I can do. I hit! And I do more than half! And then it... Oh! And then it uses minimize. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna... Try to Brave Bird. It has better accuracy at this point. Uh, metronome. Electric Terrain. Hey, right, you know what I'm gonna do? Now that my speed is doubled, I'm gonna Baton Pass. I'm not gonna pass. I'm gonna pass this old Baton to my Vigable. Who's gonna get double slapped? And I'm gonna try to Thunderbolt. And I hit! Get through, and it's dead. Alright! Fair enough. Vickable got a level up, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Blaziken also got a level up. I'm liking it. Frustration, this disappointment I feel. This is what will help me evolve. You know what? Fair enough. That is a good way to live. Every time you lose, it can only make you more, more wise to why it is that you lost. So it only, in the end, makes you a better trainer. Uh, do I have... I do. A champ shove! Boom! Shove! Ugh. And then we're gonna shove this way too. We're gonna shove this way so that we have a way to get back. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna go fight this dude. Hello, this dude. Fight me. We dug the tunnels! We made the path! Now we're gonna challenge a challenger! All right. Well, I am a challenger. You have officially been challenged, so bring it on, Worker Ovid. Ovid? That's a cool name. I like that name. Relicanth. Ooh, okay. I really do wish that I had Protect. Um, it's a rock water type. Both typings that Blaziken does not like. Um, actually... There are a lot of Pokemon on my team that don't like rock types. The three that I'm training actually really don't like rock types. <laughs> Which is just fantastic, because those are the three that I'm training at the moment. Uh, that's fine. We could we could swap to someone else that could take it. Um, I'm pretty sure Ludicolo is a safe bet. Um, so I'm just going to swap into Ludicolo. I don't think. 
a yawn. Could, I can't say that I expected a yawn. Um, I'm gonna try to Bloom Doom. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna try to end this before my Ludicolo falls asleep. It's four times effective. Unleash the full power Z move. Bloom Doom, baby. Bloom Doom. Get him. Four times weakness. It's done for. Absolutely done for. Hmm. Alright. Good stuff. This challenger is something else. Definitely one that won't be beaten easily. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? It's very kind. Very kind of you to say, I'm going to push this out of my way, and there are two items over there. And I'm interested in them. So I'm going to get off my Machamp. A Max Elixir, I will take it. Absolutely take it. What's the next? A Max Revive. Alright. Fair enough. Oh, we have a Wild Encounter on top of the rock. That's fine. Actually, I don't even know if I have any repels. Do I have repels? I don't want to check that. A Sneasel! It's a Sneasel! Uh, I believe this is actually the first time that I have run into a Sneasel. Hence the whole Pokedex thing. But I am not going to fight this Sneasel. I couldn't get away? I You deserved every part of that, Sneasel. Couldn't get away. Alright. Well, now that I did get away, by force, we can continue. Oh my gosh. No way. Ooh. Oh, we have some double battle action coming our way now. And I don't know. Is there an item in here? Full restore. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, dang. This is intense. Um, oh, man. My Rufflet is so low level, so I'm actually really concerned for my Rufflet. Um, but I'm gonna keep my Rufflet out because it needs the experience. And then I'll keep Blaziken up there because it's pretty high level. It can deal with whatever we're running into. Oh, we're doing one at a time. No, no, it is both of them. Okay. You may be away from our home, but our fighting dojo travels with us. And all are welcome. Well then, let's do it! Fighting dojo time. Are you from Saffron City, Depends. Sparring partners, Alan and Amar. Alan and Amar. With two fighting types. I might actually keep my Rufflet in. Um... Alright, so... I feel... Ooh, wow. You see that lag? Because we have four Pokemon out right now. I'm gonna try to get rid of that Beware. Like, hey, as soon as possible. Um, I might actually try to sky drop the beware as well. Alright, so here comes the sky uppercut. It hits. It kills! I don't even gotta worry about it. Sky drop's gonna end up going to the Mianfu. Mian, mian fu. Mian fu. Oh, man! And that's it! I got a level up. Awesome. Oh, no. What are you gonna do? That 
that's just one high jump kick. And you're gone. Oh, do we still have more? Who's that? Who's next? Machamp! Bring him in. Alright. Uh, I will... I'll, I'll Brave Bird the Machamp too. Huh? Um, and then I'll Acrobatics the Machamp as well. If this Brave Bird doesn't kill. Which, I think... Dang, that was a lot of recoil. I couldn't even do my swayback move! A head-on battle, and we lost! <sighs> like... Man, it's, it's like... You get a level up, and then you're done. And that's it. There's nothing else to it. You're... <sighs> it's so disappointing, man. It really is. It is a disappointment! He was one level from leveling up, too, because 50. or evolving, because 54 he evolves to Braviary. Them's the breaks. Them's the breaks. Let's fight them, too. Put your strength into the area below your belly button! Oost! The guy next to me says, Oost, too! Alright, cool. You got it, bro. You can say us all you want. Sparring partners Craig and Jason. Alright. Alright, Craig and Jason. Crabomitable and Halucha. Mm. Okay. I don't know which one I am more afraid of. I think I'm more afraid of the Halucha because of the flying typing. So I feel like brave birding the Halucha. I'm gonna brave bird the Halucha, and then I'm also going to Thunderbolt the Halucha. Oh, and it's faster! It's faster than 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 all of us, but that's that's fine. Cause I'm gonna get my Brave Bird off before it gets its sky attack off. And my Brave Bird's gonna kill. So this Thunderbolt going straight into that Crabominable. Going straight into that Crabominable. <laughs> Crabominable. Um Yeah, alright, so Thunderbolt goes into Crabominable. And almost kills it. Dynamic punching my Blaziken? Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. That is terrifying. We're going to swap out my Blaziken. Um, I feel like swapping out for Primarina is a pretty safe move. Because dark, fighting, ice, fighting, all of it's resisted. So I'm just going to swap in for Marina. And then my Vicavolt is going to stand exactly where it's standing now. Uh, and it's going to use a Thunderbolt on... Provominable. Blaziken! Get out of there. Jeez. Lives on five, my lord. Body slam. All right, here comes the thunderbolt under the crabominable. The crabominable is dead and now. It's just the three of us. Just the three of us. We can make it if we try. Just the three of us. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna moonblast this Pangoro to the next dimension. Uh, I'll bug buzz the Pangoro too. Because it's neutral. Although this Moonblast kills. Goodbye, Pen Goro. Goodbye, my friend. How frustrating! The guy next to me feels frustrated too. I'm losing my strength. Sorry about that, Craig and Jason. You tried your best. Um. Whoopsie. 
Wrong button. Bag time. Max potion. Blaziken. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. It's nuts, nuts, nuts. Alright, so we are going to go into this cave here. What is happening? <gasps> Necrozma? Okay, what do we have for Necrozma? We have Intercambio. That's who we have. Yeah, I think honestly, Intercambio is probably our best bet if we're actually going to try to take on this Necrozma as an encounter. Um, which will count as an encounter, but I mean, hey, someone out there in the ether is going to get a Necrozma if I catch this thing, so. Um, I'm actually just going to save before I challenge it. I'm going to save before I challenge it, and I'm going to challenge it. Necrozma has fallen to the ground, weak and drained of power. Will you share the light of your Z-Power Ring with Necrozma? Yes. Yes, I will. And now we have to battle it. Necrozma appeared! Um... It is level 65. Um... Alright, hold on. I think... Do I want to bring in... Spideth? Just in case, because I don't want this thing killing me by any means. I don't know if it has anything that could kill me, but I'm just gonna up my special defense just in case. Night Slash! That is a physical attack, my dude. <sighs> that is a physical attack. You are most likely faster than me as well, so I'm going to... Gosh. Alright. That did 56 damage. Alright, then I can live a crit if it crits, so I'm gonna iron defense. It has the same idea! Alright. Sure. Uh, so we both iron defense at each other. Uh, I'm gonna iron defense again. It's gonna power gem. That spadef is gonna come in handy. And I'm going to iron defense again! Setting up all over this thing because I don't feel like dying today. It's gonna power gym again, that's fine. I'm gonna get a speed boost. Double my speed. Am I faster than it now? I am! Mm hmm, okay. I'm faster. I've got times four defense. So I'm living that night slash. Oh, 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 I am living that night slash. Um, I am going to max potion up, baby. And uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna put a meteor mash on this thing. I know it's not gonna do too much, especially because um, the uh, iron defense that this Necrozma did, but I'm just gonna see how much damage it does. More than I expected. Photon Geyser! Resistant. Wow! Wow, that did nothing. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna Meteor Mash again. Alright. Almost to half health. And now, this thing's moves is Night Slash, Photon Geyser. Yeah, this... This... Necrozma's moves are Night Slash, Photon Geyser, Power Gem, Iron Deep. Cool. Nothing that Intercambio has to be super afraid of, except for the Night Slash, but I have upped my defense. And even if it crits, I can survive it. It's gonna iron defense again. Um, it's it! not super low on health, but I feel like I could throw maybe what do I want to throw? Luxury ball? Ultra ball? I'll try my last ultra ball, just cause. Hmm. 
The crit capture? What? Okay. Okay. I will absolutely take that. Necrozma's data will be added to the Pokedex. The crit capture. Oh, baby. That's fantastic. Register to legendary Pokemon. Light is the prism Pokemon. Light is the source of its energy. If it isn't devouring light, impurities build up in it and on it. And Necrozma darkens and stops moving. Would you like to give Necrozma a nickname? Yeah, I would. Um, I feel like calling it Floyd. The Prism Pokemon is named Floyd. Uh, we're going to send Floyd to a box. Floyd has an Ultra Necrosium Z. I will remove the Ultra Necrosium Z. Okay! You obtained an Ultra Necrosium Z. Splendid! Cold Rez. Hello. It's been a while, Lee. You must be a formidable trainer indeed if you're able to get Necrozma as one of your allies. Good. And this is from me. The Ultra Recon Squad asked me to develop a device that would be able to control Necrozma, but I improved it to my own liking. And now it's a device that makes it possible to draw out even more power from Necrozma. Yes, in short, it makes it possible for Necrozma to fuse with the legendary Pokémon Solgaleo. This is the Colorus Machine, number 1198, officially dubbed the End Solarizer. Okay. In addition, this is the Colorless Machine, number 1199, officially dubbed the End Lunarizer. It makes it possible for Necrozma to fuse with the legendary Pokemon Lunala. Cool. Cool. Ah, yes, I've heard, in fact, that you first met Lunala. No, it's pre-evolved Cosmog upon Mahalo Trail. I believe that a trainer like you will be able to use both the Lola's legendary Pokemon and the fearsome power of Necrozma properly. <laughs> I happen to know quite a bit about Pokemon Fusion myself. But that is a different tale. Good luck in your battles! Thanks, bruh! It's very kind of you. I feel like, is there a hidden item somewhere in this crater as well? Or is it just. Just a crazy. A crazer? A crater. Um. Actually, speaking of this crater, is this. Nope, we're going back in! There is more cave. To explore. Just a little more cave to explore. That's fine. What? We're running into something. What are we running into? Mm. Another Glalie. It's alright. We got got our boy Intercambio. And we're just going to click the run button. We have successfully fun Um... Where is this brain? Where are we going? <gasps> what is this? Ice Beam! You know what? I feel like teaching Ice Beam to Primarina instead of Sing. That- hoo -hoo, there we go. Just in case we run into some of those Dragon types, you know? Although it's also a fairy. It's honestly just in case we run into those dragon types that ha happen to be maybe like resistant to fairy at all. Which I don't really know what that would be. Fire? Yeah. Poison? Yeah. Steel, I think, too. Yeah. Except fire dragon and steel dragon I don't think exist out of legendary status. Um, actually, Poison drag. No, it does, Dragalge. Mm -hmm. Um, but anyway. Should I or shouldn't I? I don't know. I'll put some thought into this, but I think Ice Beam will probably be a good move to know anyway, just for Ice-type coverage. I might teach it to Ludicolo instead. I don't know for sure, but what I do know... 
is that here's another Sneasel. And I don't really like the fact that I'm running into Sneasel right now, especially with the Gumby with the health rate it's in. Is it going to let me run this time? It is, because I level it by like 15 levels, so that's great. Um, but I am going to save right here, and we are going to have to pick this up next time so question of the day we are almost done with this game's version of victory road but i want to know which victory road is most memorable for you uh personally i think the uh the johto victory road I can remember pretty clearly. And the Kanto one as well. The Kanto one was interesting. I think the Kanto one was one of the only ones where, like, as you walked through it, you had to, like, show them that you had a badge. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, yeah. What Victory Road is most memorable to you? Let me know. Um, and if you enjoyed today's video, please leave this video a like. And if you want to see more, and you haven't yet to subscribe, consider subscribing, and more will be sent directly to you, plus you'll be a part of Lee's League. <gasps> Do not forget to hit that notification bell so that you make sure you don't miss a thing, and as always, I will see you.